So today I've got the uh, Bushnell Equinox X650. Um, it just rocked up today as into the shop. Um, quickly had a brief look at it, but um, yeah, I'm actually gonna test it out. So it's a new sort of budget range. Um, I think it was, what, 360 or somewhere, 330? About uh, $330 or $360, somewhere around there. I'll have to double check. Uh, I've forgotten on the long drive home. At the 650 feet viewing distance, does uh, video sound image. Comes with actually an 8 gig SD card put in it. Uh, once again, optical zoom three times. Uh, tripod attachable, awesome. Uh, daytime color, that's good. Um, didn't really get to try it out in the shop at the night time, so um, yeah. So as you can see, I've already had a bit of a squeezy. Uh, I've got batteries loaded in it already. Um, it does come with batteries, however. So pull all that gear out. Basis in Struckies. Um, explaining the features, the other bits and pieces on it. Um, there we go there. AAA batteries, three of. Alright, what have we got here? One three point five to RCA. USB to micro USB. Uh, what else have we got in here? A microfiber terry cloth, I guess. Um, FCC warranty gear, I guess. I don't know. No instructions in the box, as typical with half the gear these days. Um, download, blah blah blah. Belt attachment. Nylon case, Velcro close, nice and roomy in there. Here's the unit itself. Wow. Zoom in, zoom out, mode button, I'll assume, on off button. I know that one for sure. Um, got to check out what this lens, uh, this cap does. Um, curious about it, but hey. So I haven't been able to test it at night yet because, well, it's still bloody daylight. That's your battery tray in there, which takes three AAA batteries. Uh, slide that out. Oh, screw it, I'll just do it. Sits in like that. Uh, two up the back, one up the front. Uh, bear with me for a second. There we go. Then you've got your ports on the side. Like I said, 8 gig micro SD card included. That's your 3.5mm jack micro USB. Close you back up. Small pick rail. As mentioned on the box, fits a tripod, so there's your standard thread pattern there. Your IR there. Geez, we all know what this is. This is the front end of it. Um, once again, I'm very curious about that. Uh, first time actually full on playing with um, with a set of night vision. So um, that'll be your eye focus. That'll be your screen focus. Um, so that's pretty well the look over. Nice, good feeling in in your hand. If you're old enough to remember your old school video recorders with the tapes, yeah, it's got that feel in your palm. So not quite range finder thickness, but still it's comfortable. Uh, so that's the very quick and basic look at it. So I'm going to try and do some recording tonight um, and see how I go. Um, I've, as I said, never used this before. It literally rocked up in the shop. It's a new product. So we'll um, get it out and, um, later on tonight. I'll try and do some recording during the day first and we'll go from there, eh? So bear with me. Alrighty, so I'm doing the first test. So. Um, we got it on one times, looking at about 50, 60 metres away sort of thing down towards the back of the property there. This is on one time zoom. Uh, so bear with me. Let's, uh, let's get the right button for zooming in. Don't know if the zoom's coming up, but now we're at two times. Two and a half, three. And that's it for our zooms. Uh, zoom back out again. Now, where I left off before I didn't know what that cap did the cap's now on this unit um, so I'll pull oops, pull the cap off and I guess it's some sort of filter to create colour I mean we do have plenty of light out here so cap back on uh, I don't want to stare at my neighbour's face because that'll be bloody rude um, 
that dam down there. Just trying to find something. Sorry, I'm just messing with focus at the moment. Um, identifiable down there. Two times. There's a tree. That's probably a good 100, 200 meter away. That small tree next to the large tree there. So, um, yeah, overall, not too bad. I'll be interested to see what sort of quality it is. Um, I think I fucked up because it's saying VGA standard definition. So, um, we'll end this one here and I might play with the settings and might pick up again, eh? Alrighty, I've just spotted it a magpie, so that's probably at about, shit, I don't know, 50 metre mark. There's also one, where is he? I can see him in my other eye, I can't fucking, ah, there he is. He's further away. Yeah, look at you, you little shit. Mmm. Yeah, you fucking run away. Yeah. Um. So, yeah, it must be only be standard definition. I'll check the specs again, but, yeah, full colour. Wait for it at night, lights to go out sort of thing, and, um, yeah, it's probably at about 5.30, 6 o'clock at the moment. So, you can idea of lighting. Welcome to Queensland. Um, if uh, you don't know what the lighting is like there. Yeah, um, yeah our day's uh, getting pretty long because it's summer, but oh, where'd that little bastard go? He's in my racetrack. Oh yeah, yeah, run you little two-legged bitch. Oh, you got a friend over there, do you? Yeah. Ah, yeah, and get the fucking carried away in here. Um, yeah, there you go. Um, wait for the darkness to come in, and um, actually, take that lens off. Uh, zooming in. There you go. Um, I'm just adjusting focus if that makes it. Oh, look at that little bitch. So that's with the lens off. Boom, boom, boom. Lens on. Adjusting focus again. There you go. Oh, very short clips, obviously. Oh, look at Steady Eddie here, if I can hold the camera. Um, yeah, zoom him back out. Fuck the mob's blowing. Um, yeah. Set it before I start again. Let's wait for darkness. Alrighty, so it's pitch black now. That's about where the magpies were. There's the dam down there. So that big black line there, that's the water. That's about 80 odd metres or so. I don't know. I'll get a range finder out here one day. Um, no magnification, oh no zoom at the moment. Uh, plenty of bloody bugs floating around. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we'll pan across this way. Um, IRs turned right up to its maximum setting when it first on, turned on it was at uh, 7 settings so now it's number 9 uh, got both eyes open so basically I'm trying you can see some fence line there that's a good shit metres away down there this is no oh, anyway, picking in people's places um, that's no zoom Zoom. Um, bear with me for a moment. Uh, let's just zoom back out. <laughs> Sorry, I just had some really hot dinner. So, I've got the sniffles at the moment. Alrighty, float out the dam again. I do have some backlighting behind me. Ooh, those poles. That big burst of white light. Guess there's no kangaroos out here at the moment. Can't think of this or that. She's 
I could fuck off. Let's see, any sort of wildlife, but uh, basically, that's where the magpies were, right down. That's where the magpies were, right down the end, along that tree line, uh, probably about there. So, good indication. Got the tree line there. Yeah, couple of stars. Not a bad little unit for the price, I guess. Um, it's not a no glow, so I can see a red dot out the front. Oh, I forgot to mention that the filter was off. Um, the filter on, yes, it's fully fucking black. Now, when I was uh, getting like the instructions in between the daytime video and the nighttime video, uh, instructions reckon it takes four AA batteries, but uh, yeah, it only takes three. This the lens cap that I keep talking about, it's dust cover with the filter in it sort of thing, needs to be on for the daylight and low light situation um, in order to be colour. Uh, I forgot what it said about indoor. Um, but yeah. Not a bad little unit. Uh, some bushes. I said that's. That fence line's a couple hundred metres away, fucking easy. Um, oh, that's probably about 200 metres away, maybe. Uh, now I'm tracking on people's property. As I said, not seeing in. So, yeah, you know, this building without lights, that's fucking ages away. Well, not ages, but a couple hundred metres, easy. So, at night, she's got uh, good clarification. Let's go save some animals to uh, see what they look like at night. Once you zoom in, things get a bit haywire, I guess. But I can easily tell you that's tree rather than animal. And but uh, there you go. I'm going to go back inside because I'm getting fucking eaten alive by every witch bug. Um, 20 metres away. Uh, where are we? Searching, searching his vehicle. The drama with this type of zoom is it brings everything up close. Uh, back to some tree line. Uh, we'll pull forwards a bit more so I'm trying to not kill myself while walking. This is fully zoomed out and everything, so. Apparently, there's some wind. It's probably about 30 odd, 30, 40 metres away, those whirly birds. You get good clarification. Uh, by the looks of it, it breaks these videos up into small portions because the counters just start again, or unless if I hit the button when I shouldn't have. But, uh, there you go. And as I said before, Bloody mosquitoes awaited me, so this is the end, my friend.